Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing alright. Um, so I want to talk about my anger and, uh, you know, I mean, I think I've, I've always, I mean, not always, uh, you know, as a child, I actually didn't have much anger at all. Um, it's something that, I mean, we all have different aspects of it, but like my level of anger really wasn't very high at all. I mean, we all would get angry at sometimes when something doesn't go our way, but even for me, I was still always pretty pretty chill with things um, but as I got older um, and I got more into like social interactions doing drugs talking with people <clears throat> you know um, a lot of it I do was social like just like because I had a lot of different types of friends I had friends that were um, you know athletic I had friends that were more like you know the dorkier like you know just very studious people um, I had friends that were alternative I was a skateboarder so I also had skateboarding friends but as a skateboarder I wasn't like your traditional skateboarder I was kind of like there's even different types of skateboarders you had more of like a kind of your outcast skaters which, we, we, which is what I was more a part of but we were actually really hardcore like we really loved to skate like we'd spend hours out there skating all the time but we weren't the quintessential like cool skater kids like there was like this cool skater clique that I was never a part of. I was cool with them because they knew I was a skater and I kind of like, I got around with a lot of different people, but I, would, I never really rolled, I never skated with them. Like they weren't my skating crew. I had my own skating crew and we did our own thing, but we were definitely more the outcasts. Um, and uh, you know, it was through skateboarding that I started smoking more weed and hanging out with more alternative people and like punk rockers and this and that and getting into, getting in get, getting into getting into trouble and just stupid silly shit like you know like jumping fences like you know fucking ditching school fucking breaking stupid silly shit um just like little dumb stuff like that nothing really too serious it's, the stuff got a little more serious for some of us as we got older but we started off very small as i'm sure it does for just about everybody but anyway my point is the anger for me i mean i yeah i was bullied you know um multiple different people different occasions different reasons i'm sure i mean the reasons probably stem from a similar, similar place but it, it did the situation felt like it was a different reason um and i think slowly but surely that did start to build up like an angst within inside of myself and i started also to have like trust issues with people like i didn't know <clears throat> i just like once i started realizing that like for some reason there's something about me that that seems to piss people off like i'm just being myself just being my humble kind like just wanting to play and just be me like without any like intent to hurt anybody else at all and for some reason people will, will try to hurt me through speech or whatever it is sometimes physically and um it took a while but slowly that shit took a toll and um you know, and so then I'd start, I'd start to fight back a little bit, but I never really wanted to fight back. I just wanted them to fucking stop, but they kept on doing it. So then I, I you know, I find myself being in a weird situation and it's like eventually I ended up like breaking off from aspects of my life that people in aspects of my life that were perpetuating those type of situations. And I moved to other people and personalities that weren't um, as abusive in that manner. You know, they were more abusive in a different manner but it wasn't the bullying they weren't making fun of me they weren't intentionally trying to harm me it was more of a, a manipulation which i mean it, we're all here to use things so there's different ways of manipulating and using things but like when you really for me i guess what bothers me is like when people like say shit just to gain your trust just so they can use you like when that happens to be their legitimate attempt for communication or for whatever it is in that situation that's what bothers me about manipulation if you, we all have to use and that's why that's why i think the different the difference between manipulation and use is is literally when you do things like if i'm trying to be nice to somebody if i'm being nice to somebody but I, my intent of being nice to them is really just to gain their trust just so i can get them to do something else that's fucked up and that's the evil manip that's manipulation that i don't like however if i'm just being kind to somebody because that's just my general nature is just to be kind to them i just want to be kind to them just to be kind to them that's totally different and then i end up asking them to do something that just you know it's, it's up to them whether they want to or not but i didn't i wasn't being kind because i was trying to get something out of somebody that's the difference and i do think i do know because i've been told in various ways um that you know people in my past have uh you know essentially manipulated me which you know <clears throat> Again, I don't think it's nearly as bad as the bullying and the straight up just intending to hurt somebody just to get a rise out of them or they're jealous or whatever, I irritate their demon, whatever the fuck it may be. I don't think it's as bad to do that because then there's also like, you know, my friends in the past, they were, in my opinion, manipulating me 
in a way that they thought was the best for myself and for the collective. Because a lot of my friends from Arizona, we've all had this desire, this dream to do something profound, to do something in terms of like coming together, fulfilling, accomplishing a mission, changing the world, saving the world, whatever you want to call it. We, we've had like, that's been something that I've been talking about with people in my life, peers in my life, friends in my life, former friends, whatever you want to call it, for a very long time. Um, so... <clears throat> Sorry, I just got a little brain strike. Was like, okay. So yeah, back to the manipulation. N knowing that, I, I do see how a lot of my people in the past were manipulating me because they thought they were not, their intent was to try to help me help myself in the, the best way they thought. But that's the issue is they're thinking from their own mind and their own heart. They're not thinking about my heart and my mind. So that's where things get fucked up. And it's also forceful. Like you're, you're forcing me to try to do something that you think is best for me. And at the same time you're doing that, you're not listening to me. You're not really cherishing me for who I am right here. You're thinking about me as a tool instead of a human being, which in itself is, is, is fucked up too. But, you know, um, and again, these are things that I've come to learn. You know, it's not, <clears throat> um, it's taken me a while to see this type of stuff and the type of clarity that I see it now. And I'm, I'm not mad at anybody. And I, I, I really don't. I don't sit here behemoth about anybody or seeking vengeance or plotting vengeance or... Sometimes I get a little irritated by certain situations going on with certain people, but I don't even have the full 411 and everything. So it's like, it's hard for me to get too stressed out about something I'm not even completely sure about. My intuition tells me things, but I still got to take that with a grain of salt until I really know, until I can really see those patterns twine together and form that knot, then I'll really know. But I don't know yet, so I'm just going with what I got flowing. Um... But yeah, anyway, getting back to my anger. So I think, you know, and then upon seeing all that, like, you know, and then, you know, things didn't end well with, with my friends. And so I was left alone again. And, and But, you know, the whole reason for all that was to show me that they really weren't there for me. You know, they're there for their own reasons. I'm not saying what they did was completely horribly evil. And I'm not mad at them or trying to condemn them or degrade them or anything like that. I'm just explaining from my own place, my own perspective, like why I am the way I am today. And why I have had serious anger issues and, and the hell that they've led me to. And also to say that anger can be useful, but it's in very small... Like it, I'm maybe like once in a year, I mean, very small. Like you should not be stuck in a state of being angry. That is not healthy for yourself or anybody that you're around. Stress kills the immune system. Like anytime you're more angry all the time, you're, you're going to end up fucking things up. You're going to break stuff. You're going to slam doors. You might miss a stoplight to kill somebody. I mean, there's a lot of really bad things that come from being angry all the time. You can fuck relationships up. It's not a loving feeling. Like, who wants to be around somebody that's full of anger and rage all the time? Like, sure, it gives off a lot of adrenaline, so it can be stimulating because they have a lot of passion and energy. But if that passion and energy is from a toxic place, you're just going to get toxic results. So it's like, you know, there's a there's a point when you got to get over that shit, man. And, and yeah, okay, of course, so there's a time when you need to get angry, but it's like it should not be all the time. It should be a very, very, very small portion of your life is spent in anger, in my opinion. That would be a healthy way to live. Um, cause I really don't enjoy it. Like when every time I've gotten angry and lashed out on YouTube or even spoken in that type of a way, most of the time I feel like I could have done things a better way and I end up feeling worse afterwards. There are a few times when I feel like, okay, I needed to say that and I got it out. Now that I've gotten it out, I feel better, but I've done it too much. I've, I've abused my anger privileges to, to exceed, you know, just I've overwhelmed that privilege. I've used it too much. So now that there's a consequence to these things. And I think that's where you do get the depression and the sadness because all that extra rage that you're really emitting, which is really just you being mad at yourself, the situation that you put yourself in, you're throwing that on other people when it's not their fault at all. So then, of course, that's just going to come back on you. So that's why it's just a cyclical cycle. This is why revenge never brings you what you want because people think their intent with revenge is, oh, it's going to make them feel better. They're going to get some type of justice. They're going to get some type of redemption inside of their soul. It's going to help them move on with life and be a better and smile better and all these things. And it, it never works out. How many times have we seen that in movies where it's like, oh, do you feel better after revenge? It's like, nope. Like, you never ever once hear a main character being like, oh, yeah, I really feel better after I got my fucking revenge. It never ends up that way. Most of the time, most of the good stories, most of the good themes, they tell you, like, wasn't worth it dude like I'm, I'm still no the pain's still here hasn't gone away because you can't erase pain by inflicting pain on somebody else you have to heal from the pain that's how you grow from it you can't just throw it away it's not going to go anywhere it's there for a fucking reason you got to grow from it or move on from it or let it go but you choosing to seek revenge is not letting it go and it's not healing from it so it's another reason why I'm not an advocate of revenge and all this revenge-based propaganda that we see all over Netflix and all over the world is really fucking up the psychology of humanity in a lot of different ways but that's that's another story um 
So yeah, you know, and another reason recently why I think my anger has gotten, you know, again, I dealt with a little bit of bullying on the internet, just shit talkers on the internet. So like that was, but I could have handled that healthier. But at the end of the day, I'm glad I stood up the way that I did because it did stop them in their tracks. So in that instance, like the way I went about it was maybe a little bit too angry and then just passionate and, 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 and even like crazy. Um, but at the end of the day, standing up to them, I think is the right thing to do because the proof is in the pudding. Like they have stopped talking shit. They have, you know, so it does work. You, there is a time you need to stand up to these motherfuckers that keep on when they keep on at it. Like give them a couple, you know, I'll be like, all right, dude, I, I see you. I don't want no trouble. Just please leave me alone. You said some shit. I'm just moving on, you know, but if you keep on dealing with somebody who continues to try to get in your lane when you're trying to just get things done, there's a point when you need to be like, what's up, dude? Like, what are you doing here? This is literally for your own good as well as my own good. Because if I continue to let you talk shit, I'm enabling your bad behavior. Okay? You know, so I've given you a few goes and I've asked you to stop and you're continuing not to stop. So now it's time for me to take this to another level since that's what you're telling me you want to do. Is you don't want to listen to me. So you're, since you know I don't want you to talk and you're continuing to talk, you're, you're telling me that your intent is to take this to another level. So the ne next level I'm taking it is like... Are, how far do you want to take this you're sitting here choosing to hurt me or trying to hurt me so i'm saying is like do you want to fight you know because that's what you're doing here a verbal like this this conflict this energy between us that is a fight it's not a harmonious it's not a good harmony we have here it's not flowing together we're flowing apart with conflicting forces so that's a fight so if that's really your intent then i'm just gonna fucking get to it and just be like do you want to put our dukes up and see who fucking wins because that's what you do. You don't go around talking shit to people. That, that's like an unhumane, that's just a silly, stupid-ass, fucking immature thing to do. And if you're in the wrong place in the wrong time with the wrong people, it will get you fucking killed or seriously fucked up. So, it, it's again, it's also about a lesson. And also not allowing this person in my space to continue fucking things up for himself and for the overall feng shui of the area. And I don't mind giving people a few passes and warnings. But after the few first couple of times, if they're still not getting it, that's where it's up to people like us who do get it to come in in a healthy manner. Again, I'm not just going to start socking him and punching him and, and anything like that. I'm going to say, hey, man, listen, bro. You continue to step over this line that I've asked you not to step over. Your intent seems to be nothing but to hurt me. And if not, please tell me what your intent is and I will listen. But based on our past experiences and everything that I see here now and today, it seems like you want to fight. So if that's the case, step over this line and we can fight. If not, please stop talking. I do not care what you have to say. I don't want to hear your advice, especially if it's nothing negative. You're doing nothing but hurting yourself and myself and the overall atmosphere. So stop. Most of the time they will stop because you, especially between men, I don't, I'm not a female, so I'm, you know, it's different for them, but like you challenging, calling out a man, there's something primal, there's something instinctual inside of the two men when that happens. And when you stand up to that person who's antagonizing and that antagonizer gets scared and chooses not to meet the challenge, that does something to him psychologically. He's going to be like, um, I don't know about this dude. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop fucking with him. Like, he's right. Like, I, I was over here trying to hurt his ass. I was trying to get off on an easy dude. He looked like a nice dude, make fun of him, da, 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 feed off his energy, whatever, whatever I do. But, like, he just walked up to my ass, stared in the line, said, cross the line if you want to fucking fight. And I don't want to do that. I really don't want to fight. I really was just being an asshole trying to fucking beat off him. But he might whoop my ass. I'm afraid of pain. I'm actually in pain. That's why I'm trying to hurt other people is because hurt people hurt people. So that's what I'm saying. When you stand up to these people, you make them see what they're doing in their own face. You put a mirror right in front of their face and be like, how do you like it, motherfucker? You're coming at me trying to hurt my ass. And I'm just trying to walk down eight from A to B. <laughs> So this is how it feels. It doesn't feel very good. And once they start to feel that it doesn't feel very good, the humane part of them registers that. And they're like, oh, hold on a second. And it doesn't feel very good, but he also did it in a very respectful way. He did it in a very common sense way that makes sense. Like, hey, you keep doing this to people, this type of shit's going to happen. And he's actually helping teach me a very vital point here. So <clears throat> anyway, that's why I don't regret what I did as far as the online shit talkers and all this and that. Anybody else in my life... In the past, I would have done more of that, you know, now, now that I learned, but I was so passive and I didn't want to fight at all. And I thought it was really bad to continue to try. I mean, a part of me was like, ah, I just want to stay away from like even pushing more violence, even though there is a time and place for everything, including violence, that I allowed that the bullying and the abuse to continue on until finally I had to learn the hard way, you know, which is sometimes what it takes. But, you know, it's, it's, you know, that's why for those of us who have learned things the hard way, it's good for us to share these experiences for others. So perhaps when they go through it, maybe they won't have to go through it the hard way. Or if they do have to go through it the hard way, at least they'll have a little bit of like seeds of knowledge to help them 
get through maybe a little bit easier. So, all right, I feel like I'm rambling a little bit, but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit more of an in-depth, um, I guess, psychological evaluation or insight into why I get angry, why I've been angry, where it's come from, and, and where I think it's going. And, oh, yeah, because I'm not on my deathbed anymore and it's been checked out through the doctors and I feel much better, I feel better. Like, I'm not going to lie. I didn't forsake God. And I, I'm never forsaken God. But there's times when, I, when I'm when i just, I kind of just quiet myself. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to talk bad about him, but I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'm not in the happiest position. Like, I just did a bunch of crazy shit and I'm really trying to help the world out. And I got put back on my bed. My back hurts. I can't walk. I can't talk. I can't have sex. You know, like all these things were hitting in my mind. And I'm a man, so I have needs and stuff like that. And it's like, I'm, you know, this is happening to me while I'm serving to the best of my ability, I feel at that time, really, you know, the Yahushua and the word and to get hit like that. But I also, the, the, you know, the story of Job is, is there for a reason, man. So like he lost everything and he was super successful and he still never once forsake God. And so I was always inspired by that. And I've always tried my best to stay true to that. And I feel like I have. But it doesn't mean sometimes I get angry or I get, you know, demoralized with the way things happen and I get sad and I ask questions like I, I sometimes I feel like I might have been forsaken, but I never be like, oh, you know, you know, screw you. I've never done that. And I don't think it's good to do that because at the end of the day, I put myself here. So it's like it, when, the more that you do that, the more the less that's accountability you take for your own position. So you're really just fucking yourself in the end um, and him. But I mean, so anyways, all right. I love you guys. Hope you all take care and you all have a, a good day. All right. Bye.